I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but I need to tell you what happened to me earlier today. Earlier today, I went to cut my grass and I couldn't help but notice. In order to get to my lawnmower, I had to go through a humongous spider web. <laughs> All right, and as I approached this spider web, I was getting ready to duck and try to go under it because to be real, I wanted to let the spider continue to do his own thing. I'm talking about this dude built a huge web. It looked like it probably took him about five or six days to build. Like I was impressed, you know, how big the, the thing was. So, you know, I wasn't gonna mess up his his flow. You know what I mean? He trying to catch some snacks for tomorrow. He probably got a family, uh, family to feed, right? So I tried to duck under it, but I couldn't help but notice, man, my lower back started hurting, man. Yeah, I had to duck real low to get under that joke. I was like, man, look, hey, I got to go and tell you, I got to go and tell you, uh, <laughs> tell you, your, uh, what is called a web down, man. All right. It's either my lower back or your web, your web got to go, brother. So I went on ahead. I swatted it. You know what I'm saying? I used a water bottle in my hand. I just swatted it down. Ain't nothing happened. Only a little bit of it broke off. This dude had built his web so strong. So I had to look. And I reached my water bottle again and I pulled it again. It barely moved. And so he started running. Check this out. He started running to the opposite side. Like this dude had an escape route already planned. You see, when this dude built, when this, <laughs> when this dude built his way up, he got an exit route up here. He probably got a, a place he go down here to use the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? He probably got uh, an entryway for friends to come over. He got it all mapped out. So I'm trying to tear it down and this dude running this way. So I start going from the top, building it down. He come from this way, jump back on the main line and go back down by my leg. I say, hold on a second. I had to back all the way up. Here it is, me and the spider, we make it eye contact. Well, I don't know if he was looking at me, but I was looking at him and he was like, still. And I say, you know what? I respect this spider right here. Now I understand why so many little bugs get caught in here. You know how sometimes you look at a spider web and you look at, at a moth or something or a dragonfly and you say, now how you didn't see this web? I understand now. This thing is sticky. All my water bottle got web all over it. He still surviving. He done ran a, a escape route. He, he sensed that danger is there. And you know what? He almost got on me. If I wouldn't have thought to look at his escape route down there, he would have jumped on my leg. And, and little, you know what I'm saying, little do I know, that's a green spider, homie was green, all the way green. He would have got on my leg, man. And you don't want one of them bites from a, 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 a green spider. Because let me tell you what's going to happen. Well, we don't even need to go into all that. So you probably wonder what happened next. Let, let me tell you. So I take a few steps back and we iron each other down. And I'm trying to remind the spider. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I like I live here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I live here. Like, you just built this home about three days ago. I'm trying to let you have it. But now you're trying to go after my leg. So I swat again. This time I swat at him. This dude went back up somehow. I thought the middle was gone. But this dude is in the middle and I'm squinting down. I'm looking. It got a whole nother middle. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, hey, let me tell you. Here's the, here's the point of the message. <laughs> here's the point of the message. I'm not, I'm gonna be real. After that, I just went on ahead and went around homeboy because I had to clear me out another path, but I had to make sure that I ain't get no more web on me because he was gonna end up crawling on me. I'm out there trying to cut the grass, almost hitting, hitting everything with the weed eater, rocks flying everywhere. I can't even focus on the grass because this word on my mind, this word on my heart, Listen, all it take is one encounter with Jesus. That's all it take. All it took was one encounter with me with that web. Now, now it's stuck to my water bottle. It's stuck to me. Right? I got a whole new respect for it. Why is that? It's everywhere. It's unexplainable. I'm looking at the beauty of the web. The escape route, this, that. God has it mapped out for your situation. He has a word for this thing you go through, a word for that thing to go through. And look, he's sitting there right at the center of it all with his love. In other words, like, come get stuck in the web, man. 
Too often, we try to watch God from a distance or we try to watch somebody that we know that has a relationship with God and be like, hey, I'm going to ask that dude, I'm going to ask that girl to pray for me. No, listen, you got the same access as him. We all children of God. The Bible says approach, we can approach his throne boldly. Why is that? Because we come in the name of Jesus. Jesus gives us access for our connection with God. Jesus is the gateway to God. Without Jesus, man, listen, we're not connected with God. We were redeemed by him. Oh, that spider web. Listen to me. It wasn't no way around it. I tried to duck. I tried to get under. His love is just too much. Sometimes I just sit there in the presence of God, man, and I just, I just be chilling, man. I just say, Lord, thank you. His love is so powerful, but sometimes I get a little hard on myself. It's like, man, like, like I want to do more for God. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I want to do more for God. Like, I want people to feel his presence, man. I want to talk to more people about it. And then you know what else God put on my heart? Hey, look, build that web. The people, they going to come. But the question then becomes, are you putting the word out there? Are you being used? People, they going to get stuck in this web and see it's Jesus at the center. But he just needs you to, to, to put the word out there. The Bible says, if my name be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. See, he got the draw. He has the pull. It's his spirit that makes the difference. It's not in and of my ability. I can't save nobody. I can't do nothing. I'm just a dude in a truck with a little hoodie on. You ain't know this shirt had a hood on, huh? Yeah, you know that, huh? I'm just a regular person. I'm, I'm a dude with a little sippy cup in the back seat. And I just might take a sip of it. You see what I'm saying? I'm nobody. I'm a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Because he saved me. And if he can save me, if he could use me, I know he could use, use you. I know you better than me. I, man, listen, I know you. I know you better than me. Yeah. So look, you got to get in his web. Go get stuck in his web. Don't watch him from a distance. Don't be looking around like, like, I don't know if this guy, I don't know. Walk straight into the web. Let the web stick all over your neck. Let, let his word get all over. So whenever you walk around, people, they see the little web hanging from you and they see it's something different about you. I can tell you've been in the presence of God. Why is that? I don't know. I just see a peace all over you. I don't know. You just look different. I don't know. You just look like a burden has just been lifted off of you. And that's when you be able to tell them, man, look, I've been in the web. <laughs> you know, some of us, we choose to walk into the web and some of us, we get caught in, we get caught in the web unintentionally. It don't matter how you get there. I just need you to stay in the web. I'm chilling in the web. I don't want to go out of the web. I'm posted up in the web. Why is that? I don't want to, I, I don't want to leave him. Because I understand he'll never leave me nor forsake me. Since I know that he will never leave me nor forsake me, that make me not want to run away from him. Because he won't never leave me. So I'm choosing to stay planted. You know what I'm saying? Stay planted. That's right. Stay planted. That's what you got to do. And shout out to the green spider though. Hey, I ain't kill you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't kill you. I, I let you slide today. But oh, next time I go to cut the grass... Uh, hey, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. All right? But look, I don't mind you building a well, but don't build that joker right in front of the lawnmower, man. All right? That's, hey, that's just in case you watching, Spider, because I know you still living. All right? That's just in case you watching. You know, it might be a long shot, but you just might have using my Wi-Fi and on YouTube right now, probably watching spider videos, probably learning how to build a better web, how to rebuild a web that somebody knocked down. You on YouTube somewhere, spider. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to YouTube. Hey, hey, take this video and push it on, on the spider homepage, man. <laughs> hey, man, I love you all so much. I want to say I love you. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment the words, get stuck in the web of Christ. Once again, comment, get stuck in the web of Christ and let me know you're real when you made it to the end of the video. Subscribe to the channel, new videos every day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you so much. I'll see you in the very next video.